Hello everyone, Crazy Kari here, and today I am proud to present to you Sunset Vista Dean. Named after the infamous level of the first game, this collaboration was organized by Cigar Blues, and I still do very much thank them for this. It was a fantastic opportunity to be a part of this. You'll see me in here soon. I got the pre-order, which had a limited run of Aku Aku and Uka Uka acrylic charms included, which I added the 90s choker necklaces, as I still do wear those a lot. The pre-orders are obviously no longer available, but you can still buy the charms separately on their store envy. And the zine is still for sale too, though I don't know how many are still in stock. You can also buy the zine as a digital PDF on Gumroad, and all the proceeds from this project goes towards the Australian Wildlife Conservancy. So as Cigar Blues said, keeps animals safe from the Volvo ray. Also included were two stickers and a thank you note, which even if I've had this zine for months now, I still held on to the thank you note. I always like to keep little personalized things like that. Now, let's get into it. Sunset Vista is a fanzine celebrating the Crash Bandicoot series. An icon of 90s gaming, the true mascot for Sony's PlayStation and a fond memory of many a childhood. Now an excitement for Activision and Vicarious Vision's revival of the franchise in the Endsane Trilogy, over 40 artworks here show the impact the world of Crash has had on artists around the globe. There's only one other video on this scene, and I really wanted to do one for myself and give more attention to this project. 37 different artists put their work into this book, and we are going to go through and see each piece of artwork that was made for it. We got digital art, we got traditional art, and cosplay. I do highly recommend purchasing a physical copy for yourself. They are currently 14 US dollars for 56 fully colored pages. You are going to want to get it before the last of them go. I hold such a great connection to this book. It was the first zine I was able to be printed in, and to be in one of my favorite franchises besides Spyro meant a whole lot. Lex Lang, the voice actor of Cortex, was given one at a con, and he absolutely loves it. And Vicarious Visions were sent copies. So I'm glad the team got to see for themselves what the series really means to us. This was printed and arrived before the release of the Insane Trilogy, and I of course pre-ordered the game at GameStop since I really wanted that pre-order Aku Aku keychain bonus. And I took this with me to the pre-release, the night before the official release. And I had a great time sharing this around and showing this project to others. One of the people I met said they would definitely buy it. Not sure if they did, but I sure hope so. I also brought my Coco Bandicoot plush toy made by Star Massacre to the event along with a custom Cortex plushie I've commissioned from Sarasala Dragon, which I need to commission them again. But people really like those too. That me! So here I am, my submission, chilling next to Polar. And what I was doing here was a cosplay of Coco's Tiger, Pura. And like I said, the Coco plush toy was made by Star Massacre, one of my favorite plushie artists I've commissioned from years ago. I really like that I did something different for this, Though I do wish I submitted digital artwork too, I've, during this time I took a break from digital artwork for maybe six months, so I didn't get to do so, but I'm still so glad that I've been in here. It's so special to me. I actually did this cosplay at a Chinese New Year festival. Since the levels in Warped where you ride Pira, you go through the building of the Great Wall. And the necklace I was wearing was a dragon. Since, you know, the dragons you had to jump over, I still need the cosplay as Polar, I know, and so many other characters. I've always loved Pura so much more cat person here. Plus, Crash 3 was my first game in the series, and I didn't get Cortex Strikes Back until years later, so I've known Pura for much longer. And here's the artist section, where you can learn about the artists, their favorite game of the series, and their social media. They spelled my Facebook URL wrong, but it's okay, my normally spelled username is right next to it so it's easy to realize it was a possible mistake. I'm not really gonna complain. <laughs> I invented zines, I love that. He, he would say that, he would. Well, that's the end of the zine and I really wanna give another thank you to Cigar Blues. I am never gonna get rid of this, like, ever. I treasure this way too much. I remember I was so flabbergasted when this arrived in the mail. It was such an experience I don't think I'll ever forget as an artist. Thank you, Cigar Blues. And also, thank you very much for watching. I will be linking the listing for the book in the description. This might be your last chance, and trust me, you don't want to miss out on this. See ya!